This two-year-old furnace went out last night, so we're gonna go through the diagnostics and show you what happened. It was about minus two degrees, and this toilet froze, luckily didn't crack, but the temperature did have something to do with the furnace going out. So let's go ahead and take a look at the furnace, and we'll take a look to see the error codes that show up on it. So I'm going to toggle the power and make sure that I press the door switch so we can get the error code to show up. So take a look at the bottom of this circuit board and you're gonna see error code 59 first. This is the water sensed error code. Next, we see a 93 error code. This error code is an internal control fault, then quickly followed by a 10 error code. This is the one hour lockout error code. Then it goes back and repeats the 59 error code. This is the important one, the water sensed error code. The furnace is not able to get rid of its condensate. If you look outside where it's supposed to drain, it's completely filled with ice. So with a hot air gun, you can see how much ice is actually in here. At negative two Fahrenheit, how do we stop this from happening again? When it warms up, we may take a look at a condensation pump to get the water drained inside the building. But for tonight, we're gonna put heat tape on the condensation drain line. Notice the water dripping onto the heat tape. That way, if there's a pillar of ice that comes up, it'll still melt it. Inside the building, we'll plug it into an extension cord. I also left this end open. That way, if it does freeze again, it's gonna drain into a bucket. I'd rather have it drain into the bucket than stop the furnace. So if your furnace goes out and it's really cold outside, don't look at the furnace, look outside first. Well, I hope you have found this video useful, and if you did, please give the video a thumbs up.